Okay, I think I finally have it set up. So hi, welcome back to Miranda Talks for Far Too Long about things that don't really matter, um, which is what I should change my channel name to. Today, I thought I would talk to you guys about my favorite plant, the Syngonium. In every video, my cat is going to mess with the camera that I have very carefully positioned on a washcloth. So that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to tell you the 10 reasons why I think you should own a Syngonium if you don't already, and if you do, why you should own 10 more. First reason, they Henry. Look at him. Put him back. Right over there. Okay. <laughs> First reason. They're just an underrated houseplant. I will pay my cats to stop for five seconds so I can film a video. Hang on. Okay. Bye. So they're just a really underrated houseplant. I see a lot of people, whenever I tell them that this is my favorite plant, they're like, why? I'm like, why not? Look at this plant. This is the happiest plant I've ever seen. No matter what I do to him, he still loves me. And that's how it will always remain. The second reason is they can take a lot of light conditions. So a Syngonium is great if you have a really low light condition or a really high light condition. They can handle a hallway or a west facing window like I am facing right now and I'm soon going to regret as the sun gets lower in the sky. But there's so many different light conditions that a Syngonium can be in. And while there is some dispute about what low light means exactly, while like no light down in a basement is not low light, and while in direct sun all day is not high light, they can handle pretty much anything. I've had them in all sorts of light conditions and they seem to thrive no matter what I do to them. So the third reason is that there are so many different types of Syngonium. So I have a bronze Syngonium. I have two different variegated types of Syngonium. I have this pink illusion Syngonium. I have this unknown type of Syngonium. There are just so many types of Syngonium. There are bush Syngoniums, which grow more up like a bush. And there are more vining Syngoniums, like this one, that tend to droop and drape like a vining or a hanging basket plant. So no matter what your space is, there is a Syngonium for you. There are big ones, and there are teensy ones. And there are even some in between, like the pink Syngonium. Some of them get really big, and some of them, even though you've had them for a year, stay very small. So no matter what kind of space you're dealing with, there is a Syngonium that will fit your conditions. Point number four, they have very, very few problems. I have had this, my first Syngonium, for almost two years now, never had a single problem with it. It, it it has never gotten underwatered, it has never gotten overwatered, it has never had a pest. Knock on wood, never had a pest. But pretty much no matter what, this Syngonium is happy. Happy by my definitions is that it's growing new growth, healthy new growth. Um, not necessarily that it looks like something you'd put on Instagram. <laughs> so let that, let that be a guide to you. Fifth. This is 10. Fifth, no matter what you do to them, they always seem to bounce back, and I kind of touched on this a little bit, but this Syngonium that I've had for about a year now used to be about the size of this guy, and he basically died back completely because I underwatered him. But now he's got all this new growth unfurling, and literally if you tried to kill this plant, you couldn't. It's just... It's so hardy. I have never had a plant that loves me this much as, well, all of my Syngonium, but this Syngonium. And like this one, 
I accidentally chopped off a piece of it while I was moving into this apartment. And instead of, you know, like falling over and being dramatic like a fiddle leaf fig would and be like, oh my god, I lost a leaf, I must die, um, he spit out two new sprigs of growth. He is just, I don't, it, I just, I don't, I, I don't have words for how great this plant is. Number six, there is a Syngonium for everyone, and I said this before, no matter what kind of plant you like, there is a Syngonium that fits your style. So there's like colored Syngonians, and they're plain green. There are variegated Syngonium, for those of you who, like me, um, drool at the sight of any kind of variegation. And the variegation in these is just, it's so beautiful. Some of the leaves like this, this is the, I think this is the white, yeah, this is the white butterflies, Syngonium. Um, there are leaves that get almost completely white, and there are leaves that are half white. They are the most versatile houseplant I've ever had. Seventh reason, they propagate like crazy. I have this big one to my right. Um, and it has so many new little branches coming off of it. It propagates itself, kind of like the Pilea peperomoides, where it shoots out little babies all the time. But also, if you break off one of the leaves and stick it in water, in like two weeks, you'll have a new plant. And these guys, this was the one that I broke off of this one, and I propagated him and he is already growing a new leaf and this guy I um, acquired from Walmart and he's already growing a new leaf about to unfurl but they just they propagate so well so easily and it doesn't matter like I've put them in soil I put them in water I haven't tried those hydroton balls yet but I'm sure they'd be great they're just so so easy so going off that point number eight they are so easy to grow they just, they just always are growing. All of, all of this on this plant is winter growth. Like, isn't that amazing? In the winter, not even its growing period, it's shooting out new leaves, and it's really low maintenance as far as watering goes. Uh, whenever it starts to like droop and fall over and look kind of sad, I water them, and um, like they tell you, they tell you what they need. They'll get little brown tips if they're like you're getting too much water i'm getting too much water and they just they just always grow no matter what you do they always grow if you underwater them if you overwater them a little bit they don't really care then you adjust yourself and it's like oh yeah i'm happy again we're back to being pals you know so that brings me to my next point they grow so so quickly they just keep growing i i've had this one in a low light condition and it's still growing like crazy and I've had this one in a high light condition and it's still growing like crazy and like all um, plants they have to even out their growth is the easiest way of putting it so if you see a couple of leaves that are yellowing that's perfectly normal it's not really a symptom that you're doing something wrong um, especially if it's at the bottom like this one and like the one that I just pulled off they just exist and are happy no matter what you do. They're so easy. And finally, my final point. They're just so beautiful. Look, look at the shine on this plant. Didn't even do anything. And it's like, you know what? I feel like being shiny. And this guy, he's all big and cupped. And he has like round leaves. And he's like, I'm just going to be so beautiful for you, Miranda, because I love you. And this guy is pink, so, you know, automatically plus 10 bonus points in the beautiful category. And then my variegated guys. This is a good plant. 